Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode with me, David Windsor. As always, you can go over to davidwindsor.com, get your free downloadable templates. All I ask in exchange is that you like, subscribe, and share this YouTube channel with one of your friends today. For those of you that don't know, I'm a residential general contractor in the beautiful town of Park City, Utah, where we've been in business for 18 months. And in those short 18 months, we've accumulated $15 million worth of work. And my goal with this channel is to simply share with you some of the things that we're doing within our business and how we're operating this company. And hopefully some of the things that I'm sharing in this channel can help you along the way in your construction journey. So that being said today, I want to talk a little bit about just organization of your jobs and looking ahead a little bit into the future. This is something that a lot of people don't do. They're more reactive in their their day-to-day -day business. They're constantly thinking about things that they can do in the current moment. And in the current moment, you're, you're in a reactive state. And when you're in a reactive state, you're constantly getting pulled in multiple directions. The phone's ringing and you're answering and I'll be, yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, you got it. I'll be there. I'll call someone. I'll fix it. I'll do whatever it takes is the mindset that people do when they're in the reactive mode. And if you can proactively think about how you can keep your schedule on track, it's going to be a better way that you can maintain a schedule throughout the process of a job, especially a bigger job. I mean, we're out here building multi-million dollar homes. If you're in, if you're building new construction or doing big remodels and stuff, these are the things that are going to bite you in the butt if you're not thinking and forecasting further into the future about what's to come in your job. And this is something simple. Like if you go to davidwindsor.com and get a downloadable template, I have a three week look ahead scheduling template that you can get on this thing that a little simple Excel spreadsheet that you can use to look three weeks in advance. And for me, the three week mark is kind of just the magic number of where you're looking ahead. Most people in our industry, at least all of our subcontractors are at least two weeks out in scheduling. Their schedule is two to three weeks out. So we do the three week look ahead. And as we start looking through this in the three week look ahead, we realize that in two weeks we'll be done with X task and X task needs to start on the third week. And in that moment, as we're doing this, we make those phone calls to those subcontractors and say, hey, in three weeks, May 1st, I'm gonna need you to come start the mechanical, the plumbing, the electrical, whatever the portion of the house that needs to be started in the three week mark. And so we're giving our subcontractors enough time in in their schedule to come onto our jobs. We're not calling them and saying that we need them and it's emergency, I need you right now. And they're like, sorry, I'm two weeks out. And then your job sits stagnant for the next two weeks. You, you're, you're forward thinking. And the best way to do that is a three week look ahead. Sometimes the old school method is the best way to do it. And I, you, like I said, you can go to davidwindsor.com, get that downloadable template for an Excel spreadsheet. But if you're not a tech person and you wanna go old school, do what we're doing. This is this is Hannon. Hannon's one of our partners here and he's a, our superintendent. And this is our three week look ahead that we have here. So we just have the five day week. So Monday through Friday, we got the break for the weekend, Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday. And then we label out each job on the side. So each job is the lot number that we use. And then each, and then we talk about the scope of work. So framing, if, you know, sometimes nothing's happening. Framing's gonna be happening on this job for the next six weeks, call it. And so this is the only scope of work. So this exercise is sometimes redundant of what you're doing. But, you know, on this particular job, we got appliances going in on these three days. Down here, we got, we're finishing up cabinets right here. And then we've told these guys that we're starting template right here. In this particular exercise, you know, we got plumbing roughing in right here. And we just made the phone call to let these guys know that they're, you know, two and a half weeks out. So they're coming May 3rd today on Monday. It's April 17th. So this is an exercise that Hannon and I do. Every Friday at 2 p.m., we sit down together. Every color is its own little thing, and each color represents a different scope of work. And so it's just an exercise for me and Hannon, who are the scheduling portion of this company, to, to keep it in the forefront of our mind. What's happening on every job? We have six houses going right now. And if you're not doing this type of stuff when you have six houses going, you're going to lose track, and then someone's going to call you and say, hey, what's going on here? And you get into that reactive mode. And the reactive mode is when you get a little bit behind, and you get, start playing catch up, and that's when the stress builds up, and that's when your business starts to suffer. And so if you want to be ahead of the time and not have your business suffer and be proactive instead of reactive, then you got to do things like a three-week look ahead or whatever the three-week look ahead metaphor is for you and your business you got to stay on top of it you got to be proactive and you got to do whatever it takes on a daily basis and you know for this for Hannah and I this is a this is a weekly meeting that we do not miss this is a non-negotiable we have to we have to communicate this every week because there's a lot of shit going on and you got to make sure that you're understanding that and then yeah Hannah just pointed this out good call Hannah like so we got implement the calendar yeah so that we're always looking at this in real life time from our phones so that we can coordinate with subs on site all at the same time. This is really, you know, in our office so that we can sit back and look from a distance and see how we're running all six jobs. 
but the calendar and coordinate it with our three week look ahead is imperative to our success. So one of the things too, is I'm a big visual. I'm, I'm sorry. I got to wipe this camera off. It's all dirty. So one of the things that I'm a big visual person when it comes to color. So you see that we, each job number is green, red, blue, purple. And so we coordinate that in our calendar. And so in this calendar, we have the green, the red, the blue. So if I look at this and I see the red I'm, from a distance, I know that's lot 16. If I see the green, I know it's lot 15. The purple is lot 114. The blue is lot 60. So whatever works for you. But once we coordinate on this three week look ahead, then we bounce immediately as we're having this conversation and put these dates into the calendar. So you can see on this, you know, we're doing final touch up paint where you got a road closure this day. We've got the radio vent. We got countertop installed. We got furniture delivery. So we're constantly updating this on this spreadsheet, but then we put it into our Google calendar. So it's on our phone, it's on our computers, and it's a constant communication that we have within this team. So whew, that's a big one, big rant, long winded, talking fast, but that's that's simple as that. That's a three week look ahead for you guys and whatever it takes for you to do with your in your business. There's no right system. The right system is the system that you use every single time. So that's all I got for you. Go to davidwindsor.com, get your downloadable templates. Don't forget every Thursday, every single Thursday, 5 p.m., I'm hosting a live webinar on YouTube, how to start your own construction court class or how to master class, how to start your own construction company. And it's live on YouTube every Thursday, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Tune into that, how to start your own construction company live master class with me. And as always, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. It means a lot to me. And I hope that you get something out of this. Talk to you soon. Bye.